Here's a scenario we keep hearing people examine on social media. I'm the cop approaching this bad guy getting into this car. Hey, you! <laughs> David, the Marine. Let me see your war face. There's a lot being made about, well, these guys were just being shot in the back. For no reason whatsoever. And it, it, it's easy to have scenarios where they shot in the back when they're presenting a deadly threat. You know, if, if you're there and I'm like this, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm running away from you and I'm shooting at you like that, can I kill you? Yes, I can. So what do you want to do? You want to stop me from doing that. How are you going to do that? You're going to shoot me. Where's it going to hit me? In the back. Does that mean you're not justified? That's not what it means. So let's set this up. Here's our good guy. And David is our bad guy. Our cop sees something suspicious in the bad guy and says, hey, you. Good guy gets hit. And how accurate it have to be? Not very. Just enough to hit you. And how quick was that? You can't react to that in time to stop the guy. And the bad guy got away. And if he gets shot in the back, this is easily how it could happen. Just because somebody got shot in the back. Yeah, you can't assume he's just bopping along, just not, you know, doing anything, just minding his own business. Hey, there's someone else, get him. You know, it's not like that because we just showed you it, it's a matter of a, a second or so, and we got uh, rounds on target. You know, just don't assume what you hear from the news media because they don't want to tell you, well, he had a gun, he's running to tell the cop first. They're not going to tell you that. But that's why you have to go out and practice on your own and get the skills to defend yourself. And it's also a matter of guns, guns for, for everybody. everybody.